Hey what's going on guys, it's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you some of the best ways to make money in GTA 5 Online and there's also a money glitch in this video. Don't forget guys to go follow me on all my social medias you guys see on screen and the main reason for that is so you guys can be entered in the 10 days of giveaways. We are now officially on day 7 which means we are going to be doing another giveaway but it's going to be for a $25 gift card. It's going to be on my Instagram at It's Frolix and as you're watching this video there is a post there all you got to do is go and like it and comment on it and then you guys will be automatically entered. I'm just going to pick a random person and I'm going to reply to them, say you won, DM them and give them their code. And also the day after we're going to do another giveaway on Twitter. The first one's going to be for PSN, the second one's going to be for Xbox. If you guys want to win those, go follow me there. Don't forget guys to go check out Zigazani, the link is down below in the description if you guys do want to get 10% off GTA 5 cash and rank packages and some modded accounts and a bunch of other cool stuff. Be sure to check them out, use code FROLIX to get that 10% discount. Anyways, enough talking and let's get into this video. So guys, for the first way to make money, you guys should do vehicle sourcing. Now, if you guys have any money in the game, any investments, make sure you have a vehicle warehouse and a CEO office because you guys can make so much freaking money from doing this, you don't even know. You could do it solo, but if you do it with a couple CEO members, you'll make even more money. Now, what you guys want to do is get some high-end, low-end, or mid-range cars, and then all you need to do is export them. Make sure you export them to the highest bidder, the highest buyer, because you guys will make the most money. Although you guys do need to pay for upgrades, you'll actually just make it back. So why not just pay for the most expensive one and you guys will get the most amount of money. So obviously do that. And when you guys do finish upgrading the vehicles, all you need to do is just drive them to a specific location and you'll get paid out the money. The max you can make from this is over $450,000. Now the reason for that is if you export four vehicles and they're part of a collection, you guys will get a bonus amount of money. If you do it for four high-end vehicles, you guys will get $100,000 per vehicle. And of course, if you guys do it for mid range and low range, you'll make a little bit less. But most of the time, when you actually source the vehicles, you get high range. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because every time I've been sourcing it, I did it like five or six times. I did fail a couple of times because my luck is just terrible. But almost every vehicle, I got a high range car. Actually, I got four of them high range and then just the mid range car, which is the one that you guys see in the video right now. So, you guys can make a ton of money from doing this. I just have two of my friends on with me right now, and they're just helping me deliver these cars. And of course, if you do drive, and damage them you'll lose a little bit of profit but in the end you won't really even notice that it's there because you'll do it so much you'll just have so much money and you won't really notice the couple thousand you lose if you damage the car at all now like i said you guys can make up to four hundred and fifty thousand dollars from doing this and it takes about five minutes when you guys actually want to source the vehicles and let's say you were to do it this way you were to source the vehicle and then you were to export it every single time it would probably take about 10 minutes to source and export the whole vehicle so you guys can make up to 100k within 10 minutes and of course if you do it with some of your friends you can make up to 400k and i'm just saying 10 minutes it could take a lot less time depending on how you source the vehicle if the vehicle is a little bit harder to get like if you had to defuse a bomb and wait like two minutes or you have to do a race or something it'll add on a little bit of time but in the long run you guys will make a ton of money and if you guys only had high-end vehicles and you exported them as much as you possibly could you can make millions of dollars in less than an hour it is definitely the best way to make money in gta 5 in terms of grinding and i definitely suggest you guys do this you guys can see I just delivered the vehicle and take a look at the profits right there. Now that of course is for two high-end vehicles and one mid-range vehicle. So you will make even more if you guys did it with all high range and they're really not hard to get. They're super, super simple to find. And if you guys only want to get the top range vehicles, let's say you get a mid-range one, just find a new lobby and do it all over again. And you guys will get a top range one, hopefully. It takes barely any time and it's probably one of the best, if not the best way to make money in GTA 5. But let's hop into the next method that I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy as well. So for the next method, it depends on the week. So pretty much we're going to be taking advantage of double money and RP events. Now pretty much what I mean by doing this is if you do them, you'll get double money and RP. Sometimes it's actually triple money and RP as well. So if you're lucky, you guys can get those too. What you guys are going to want to do is just do all of the stuff that's double money and RP and you guys will get a ton of money. Now if you guys think that no one's going to be doing it, everybody in gta does these okay so if you guys just go onto your phone and go to quick job you'll actually see the featured playlist and that will be double money and rp jobs so then you guys can just go into a lobby with a ton of people and make the most amount of money now you guys can see i only have me and two other people in this race and it only takes about two minutes to finish but in the end i do end up making a pretty decent profit considering it only took two minutes and of course if you do have more people in the race you will get way way more money and that goes for every single double money and rp event now some of them you can actually make over one hundred thousand dollars in like 10 minutes from doing it and others you won't make as much 
This race I managed to get around $7,000, which isn't that bad considering how much races normally pay out. So seven grand with only two other people in it is really not that bad. And of course, if you guys do put more laps on it, you can get a ton more money. But of course you wanna do it with a full lobby. These races can have 30 people in them. So if you do manage to win, you will get a ton of money. I definitely suggest you guys do it, but it's definitely one of the best ways to make money as well, just taking advantage of these double money and RP events. Anyways, let's get into the one that you guys have been waiting for, and that's the money glitch that is still working on all consoles. So guys, to start off this money glitch, what you guys are gonna to wanna to do is have a vehicle inside your mobile operations center that you wanna duplicate. Make sure you have a vehicle storage and not the vehicle workshop. Don't worry, if you guys have to switch, you'll make your money back, don't even worry about it. Next thing, make sure the MOC is inside your bunker. Then from that point, all you guys need to do is just drive the vehicle you wanna duplicate outside of your MOC and into your bunker. Then from that point, this part becomes a little bit tricky. You wanna just drive it towards your MOC, but you wanna stop it just before you get the alert to enter your MOC. So you guys are gonna see in a, just a second here, I'm just gonna to drive towards my MOC and you wanna drive there and the second you guys see that alert, you wanna stop. So you guys are gonna see here, I get the alert in the top left hand corner and right when I get it, I don't move and I just get out of the vehicle. That's what you wanna do. If you go too close, it won't work properly. Anyways, once it's there, all you need to do is exit out of your vehicle and just exit outside of the bunker. You guys can now drive to your apartment or you guys can teleport there. If you wanna teleport there, it's very, very easy to do. All you guys wanna do is just join a job by opening up your options menu, going to the map and finding a job that is near your apartment. Once you guys do find it, click square and then the job will start. From there, join someone in a different targeting mode. You guys will then get the first alert saying, are you sure you want to join? Join them a second time and you guys will get a completely different alert saying, are you sure you wanna change your targeting mode? So you guys are gonna see this here. I find a job near my apartment, just like this one. I'm just gonna click join. And then from that point, like I said, you just need to find someone in a different targeting mode. You don't have to change your targeting mode this time just because a lot of people play in different targeting modes, so it's not really hard for you guys to find one. But like I said, just join them and you guys will get the first alert showing this. It will say, are you sure you want to join another session? Join them a second time, you'll get a different alert saying, are you sure you want to change your targeting mode? Deny it and you'll come to this screen right here and then boom, you guys are done. So now you're at your apartment. From there, all you need to do is just walk inside of your apartment. Now this part is a little bit tricky to hit, but don't worry, you guys will be able to hit it really quickly because I know you guys are great at glitching. Anyways, what you want to do, like I said, is just walk inside and make sure you do have a heist available. If you don't, call up Lester, start up the Fleega job, do the first setup, join a new session, and then he'll start sending you invites for the next setup. Then from there, what you guys are going to need to do is walk inside of your heist room, and then you guys will see the heist planning board. What you want to do from here now is open up your interaction menu, go to apartment style, and preview any apartment style. Then from that point, all you guys need to do once the apartment style has loaded, go join someone in a different targeting mode. You guys will then get this alert. When you get it, click right on the D-pad, and then you guys just need to accept the alert. And then after that, you'll get another alert, just deny it. You guys will then be on the heist planning board, just walk away from it, and if your minimap goes away, then you guys hit it correctly. If it doesn't, that means you guys didn't. Now, like I said before, it is kind of hard to hit, but trust me, if you guys do it the right way, you shouldn't take that long to hit it, maybe five minutes at most. Some of you guys may have to do it for like 10 minutes and then you'll hit it, but at least it works, right? If it didn't work, I obviously wouldn't be uploading it. So, so now this is when I actually hit it, I click the apartment style, and then from there, you just go ahead and join anyone in a different targeting mode. And then all you need to do is click right on the D-pad, accept the alert, you'll get the next alert, deny it, leave the heist planning board, and you guys will notice you have no minimap or anything like that. From this point, you won't actually be able to leave your apartment. So what you guys are gonna wanna do now is do the teleport glitch once again, and you wanna teleport to any garage that you have a vehicle in that you don't mind losing. So if you have an elegy inside of another apartment or your casino or your arcade, your facility, it doesn't matter. Just any vehicle that you don't mind losing in any garage, except for the apartment that you're in right now. It might end up working if you're in the same apartment with a vehicle you don't mind losing, but I would honestly just suggest a different one. You guys will get that when you try to join a job. It'll say it's not available. Just join it again, and then you guys should be good. Like I said, click square and start it. Join someone in a different targeting mode. Then from that point, join them again, and then you guys will get the second alert, deny it, and you'll be spawned right where the job was. And then from that point, just make your way inside the garage. And from this point, it gets super, super simple. There's no more hard parts. After you've done that first part, you guys are good to go and you pretty much completed the glitch. But you guys can see I am back where my garage is at the job. And then from this point, like I said, all you guys need to do is enter inside of the garage. So from this point, what you guys wanna do, like I said, have a vehicle you don't mind losing. So I'm gonna use this LG in the corner over here. What you guys wanna do is hop inside of it and just drive forward. The car will then just disappear when you go outside and you'll be on foot. 
Then from that point, all you guys need to do is go to your bunker. Now, like I said before, if your bunker is far away, you guys can teleport there. But if it isn't, just run over there. Mine is right near my arcade, so I'm just gonna run there. But if it is very far away, all you guys need to do from there is just go ahead and teleport there. If you try to drive there, you won't be able to. If you try to call in a vehicle, you won't be able to because the game thinks that you're still inside of your apartment. So just walk inside your bunker just like I did. And now your vehicle may be respawned at the original spawn point where it usually is when you exit outside your MOC. If that happens, you kind of messed up on the very, very beginning driving your vehicle over to this spot. If you did it correctly, it should just be sitting here still. So just click right on the D-pad and boom, it's inside of your MOC. Now, the vehicle that you're sitting in is actually the duplicated version. So make sure if you guys want to do this glitch again, duplicate the original, which is in your garage with the elegy or the vehicle you don't mind losing. This one you guys can take to the custom shop right away and just sell. If you've made it to this point, you don't even need to check if the other vehicle is in the garage because it's already been duplicated. If you want to, of course you can. But now all you're gonna need to do is just drive the vehicle outside and just drive it outside of your bunker. If you don't wanna drive it outside your bunker, that's completely fine. Now sometimes it may get stuck and may not be able to move whatsoever. And that is because of course you are still glitched out. So then just exit outside of your bunker. And then all you need to do is go into style and then just change something on your character so the game saves, close the application or find a new lobby and then come back into the game and you guys are gonna notice that you guys are back normal and not glitched out. So you guys can see here, I'm gonna walk back inside my arcade and remember where that elegy was? There is now a fully upgraded ISSI Future Shock sitting there, which I could sell for around $1.7 million. So you guys can make tons and tons of money from every single method in this video, but by far this one is probably the best one. It doesn't take too many requirements. All you need is an MOC and a bunker, and they were just on sale recently. So if you guys got those, then this glitch is definitely for you. You guys can also sell your originals if you just wanna do this one time and not get dupe detected. And if you guys do wanna get unglitched, like I said, you can close the application and find a new lobby, but the best way to do it is just go into creator mode and then from there, all you guys need to do is load into online. But like I said, make sure you change something on your outfit first, so then the game does save. You'll see the little orange loading circle in the bottom right corner if it's saved. Like I said, go into creator, go back into an online lobby. Your card should still be there because you guys saved the game. You guys can go and sell it, make a ton of money, or you guys can just sell your original, keep the duplicate, and you guys will still have a ton of money. So it doesn't really matter what you do. You guys are gonna make money no matter what from doing this glitch. But anyways, guys, that is it for the video today. Be sure to go check out my Instagram or my Twitter. Depends which day you're watching this video. Be sure to go check them out just because I'm doing the giveaways on there very soon. And there's gonna be new giveaways coming out as well. Take a look in the description and you guys will see all the dates for those. Don't forget guys to go check out Digazani. The link is down below in the description. If you guys do want to get 10% off GTA 5 cash and rank packages and some modded accounts, you guys can use code Frolix to get 10% off. But yeah guys, that's it for the video. So thank you guys so much for watching out. I hope you enjoyed. And if you guys have any questions or concerns, be sure to comment them down below. And don't forget, if you guys want to join my Discord, the link is also down below in the description. We are helping out tons of people on there. We have trade vehicle chats, heist chats, all kinds of stuff. Check it out if you guys need some help in GTA 5. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.